Wow. Queen! Ah, oh, I miss Needle Queen. Oh! Muff! Wow. The Queen is angry. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you something to be angry about, bitch. Run my surf! Guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and it's time to continue our quest. Well, let's play Pokemon Lunatic Crystal. Well, viewers, last time we took down Archer again, who apparently had some shit to get off of his chest. Yeah. Now, I, I don't recall if you can fight the the uh, Rocket Executives again in Heart Gold. Mm, excuse me, viewers, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver's post game. But yeah, Archer was like, uh, I can't believe this. It's like, all that shit for nothing. NOTHING! Yeah, I feel the same way. I feel the same way. It, 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 it is what it is. It is what it is. I feel bad for Archer, you know? He had this whole comeback plan for Team Rocket just to get Giovanni back and all that other shit. And in the end, he got defeated by a trainer with seven badges. Yeah. History repeats itself, and Archer is still here at the building, so you can actually refight him multiple times if you want to get EXP. Now, uh, I think in this rematch, I think his Pokemon are like level 100 or so, so yeah, nah, not right now, not right now. Let me recount the terrifying tale. Then again, it's not so scary while it's still light outside. Come back after sunset, alright? Okay... Whatever, but yeah, if you come, if you come here to the Celadon Mansion's back um, entrance and go to the roof at um, when it's dark outside, um, he'll go over some stupid ass ghost story. It reminds me of that ghost story that remember that one dude on I think it was Route 14 in, in in my Pokemon Y X and Y LP, you know, before Levier City, you know, the fairy gym town. Yes, yeah, she um, dudes are like um, something. Something about headless men or, or, or something or other like that. I remember Shauna tearing on. I was like, I wasted time on this. Yeah, pretty much in a nutshell. But in any case, um, if you do manage to sit through that BS, he will give you the um TM for curse. So there you go. But yeah, um, we got the Celadon game pointer. So it's pretty much the same as um as golden rides and stuff. Don't forget, if you're using a max money code, take advantage of that to get as many coins as you want. Now, the prizes here are a little bit different compared to what we got back in Goldenrod's Game Corner. So, yeah, you actually have to go to another building here in Celadon just to exchange your prizes. Whereas in Goldenrod, it was all in one building. Yeah, I know, it's primitive. TM32 is double team, I believe. TM29 is Psychic, which we already got already. And TM15 is Hyper Beam, which we got from Mr. Pokemon earlier in the game. So, yeah, you should already have those outside of, like, Double Team. Now that I think about it, I might as well get Double Team since I'm already in here. Yep. Oh, wait, I already have it. There you go. <laughs> now, as far as Pokemon prizes, this is the real shocker. And I was really shocked at the prizes in here. Just take a look. We got Typhlosion, Feraligator, and Meganium. All three fully evolved Johto starters as prizes. So guess what? Like, beginning of the game means, oh, I, I, they just leave that, chick, that poor Chikorita there even though it's complete shit. But yeah, you can still get all three Johto starters, but in their final forms here. So there you go. Granted, at this point, you'll have better Pokemon than them. But, of course, you know, Typhlosion is Fire slash Fighting, Feraligate is Water slash Dark, Meganium is Grass slash Dragon, and Lunatic Crystal. So, yeah, Meganium is still shit, even with the Dragon typing added onto it. But it's still slightly more tanky than Typhlosion and Feraligator, so... Pick your poison? I guess? <laughs> I, I mean... It, it, their Meganium is not really my cup of tea, and it's only in rare occasions, rare play playthroughs, that I may decide to go for Meganium. But nah, 
Nah, Meganium is just not worth it. For Alligator, however, might be worth it. The problem is, with it being water slash dark, it's kind of like the Greninja situation, like, like in Gen 6, and stuff like that. He has that weakness to bug and fighting type moves now. So he, all it does is just add extra shit. You know what I mean? I mean, for Alligator, if he was pure water and stuff like that, well, in any case, we get some leftovers here. Hooray! Now, that is actually some useful treasure. Restore every ginger Pokemon's HP every turn. So, there you go. But, yeah. Um, Typhlosion, if it was, like, pure water and shit like that, all it would be is just, you know, weak to electric and grass and shit like that. But you add on dark typing, and then it's like, um, oh, yeah. Now it's also weak to bug and fighting moves. Give me a break, man. <sighs> I mean, I don't care either way, I guess. I mean, if I started with Totodile in the beginning, it wouldn't really matter to me. But it would probably be the same situation like with my Typhlosion. I mean, if I was playing a regular Gold, Silver, Crystal run and stuff like that, this wouldn't even be a thing. You know what I mean? It, it, it wouldn't even be... Um... Uh, it, it wouldn't even be a thing at all, honestly. Now I gotta teach Cut to somebody else. Or to activate the Magnet Train to get back to Johto. But, of course, we can always just use the shit, but... You'll have to manipulate the save file and stuff like this. Like, every time you save your game, restart. And you can choose the time of day and stuff like that. Which they give you the option to do in Lunatic Crystal. So you can take advantage of that and sell between Kanto and Johto easily. In any case, it's... Master Roshi's still here? Hey, dude. <laughs> this gym is great. Only only women are allowed in there. Yeah. Pretty much in a nutshell. Just like in Gen 1, the Celadon gym is an all-female gym. And, of course, we got the pervy-ass old man wa watching right outside. Now, you notice one thing that's different here. In Gen 1, Master... Well, I call him Master Roshi, but he's pretty much Master Roshi. He would be standing literally in front of the window. You see where I'm standing right here? He would be literally in front of the window, peeping the fuck in. Like a fucking predator. It's it, it's disgusting, but it's also hilarious. Um, But in Gen 2, Master Roshi is sitting here a length away from the window. I guess they figure, oh man, you might want to stop looking into our gym's window. I mean, it's kind of creepy, which it is. But yeah, take note. Oh, they get rid of this dude in Gen in the Johto remakes in Gen 4. You know, Heart Gold Soul Silver. Yeah, he's no longer here. Instead, it's some random dude talking about some other random shit. They get rid of the pervy old man, which has been a staple in Celadon for two generations, just to replace him with some rando. Are you fucking serious? <sighs> Son of a whore. And now we got these gym trainers. Of course, the Celadon gym is a grass-type gym, so we already know how this shit is gonna go. I'll meet you at the gym later. Alright, viewers and Mac, took out all the gym trainers. Easy as shit. But then again, grass-types are easy as fuck anyway, so... <laughs> it's no laughing matter, it's just that fucking simple. One thing that's weird to me is that they have an all-female gym, but it's a grass-type gym. And grass has so many weaknesses. You know what I mean? What would have been a bit more progressive, in my opinion, is if you're going to give women, uh, make a women-only gym, give them a type that is fucking badass. You know what I mean? Like, for example, um, a fire gym. In the case, sup, Erica? Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I made those off. Hello? Um, gym battle. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> My name is Erica. I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym. Oh, all the way from Johto, you say? How exotic. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Why the fuck else would I be in your face? <laughs> Very well, but I shall not lose. You're using grass types. Prepare yourself for a brutal ass whooping. Because it's time for a gym battle boss fight! Versus the... Uh, I was about to say Sabrina. Ha! <laughs> no! Can you imagine Sabrina as the as the grass gym leader? But no, Erica, the leader of the Celadon City Gym. And of course, we got the cheer puffer herself, or himself, Jump Bluff! 
Really, bitch? Swagger right at the start? <sighs> Let's get this over with. You realize Solar Beam ain't gonna do that much, right? Oh, shit! Are you serious? <laughs> Come again? Wow. Okay. Okay, so that's how it is. Wow. So you're like, oh, um, was that it? <laughs> okay, you know what? You got me. You got me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I underestimated you. I shall not let that happen again. <laughs> you can swagger all you want. But you just make this, you got lucky with Skarmory. But you're not going to get that lucky with my legendary. So you can fuck off. Sacred Fire! Bit uh, What the fuck? Uh, uh, uh. But you still take damage. <laughs> what the f I should have expected that. But all, all you did was just make it easy. Shadow Ball to tenderize the meat. Sacred Fire to bring the burn, to bring the down. Bring the burn! Go down already! What the fuck is this bitch? It's like I'm facing Archer. It took three Pokemon just to take down his fucking Porygon too. It's a jump off! My god! Makes no sense! <sighs> In any case, now we got Sunflora. What's weird about this bitch? Is that they made some floor slash fire type. I know it's weird, but it is what it is. Earthquake! There you go, just a little bit more. And the nice thing is, some floor is slow as shit, and she used up her two full restores, so she can't restore her Pokemon no more. She's fucked. What the hell? Oh, uh, oh, uh, okay, okay, now I see. Her fucking sun floor has a fucking quick claw. I'm so sick of this shit. <laughs> you can fuck off! Asshole. <laughs> Seriously. Alright, let's move on then. No fucking way. No fucking way are you putting a blissey in a grass gym. No f It has no grass moves! Fucking A. Out the danger! Bitch! And it has leftovers! Wow! Wow! Motherfucker! Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine with me. Oh yeah, it's all fine with me. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry, but I, I don't go down that easily. I'm not- I'm not a bitch. I'm not going to go down like that. And her blissey just said otherwise. But you know what? That's fine. I always exceed expectations. Trust me on this. Can't use Shadow Ball because the bitch is normal type. So, Psychic Spam! Well, in essence, it does reduce... It has a chance of reducing her special defense. So, all I got to do is just keep spamming the fuck out of it. Eventually, it'll get through. So, her leftovers can't save her forever. What? Oh! Vaporeon! Wow, okay. Show us some love, baby. Erica, you're just full of surprises, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, your Vaporeon wants that buzzy. Or puss. Uh, uh, um, you know. Ussy. Yeah, it wants that ussy. So, yeah, it's not... It, 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 sorry, yeah. You can't resist the love. <laughs> it's like, what? Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you back here from the, from the porno flick. Fuck off. Fuck off, Thunderbolts! Just get the fuck out of my way! Damn! And we're still not over! Fuck me! Oh great, and her Venusaur has fucking Earthquake! Wonderful! Fucking wonderful! Get the fuck out of here! <sighs> Man! It's just one bitch after another! This is BS! 
Whatever. Crunch. Ah! Wow. Okay. Ooh. This is bullshit. It, especially since I was talking shit about Meganium earlier, and it kills my ass. Fuck no. <laughs> GG, bitch. Holy cow, man. This fight went so much easier than that last fight. Like I said, I seem to focus more when I'm not recording. But when I'm recording, it's like I, I get easily distracted by random shit. But alright, we got the rainbow badge. Badge number three in Kanto gets. That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM. It is Giga Drain. It is a wonderful move that drains half the damage and inflicts to heal your Pokemon. Please, use it if it pleases you. I will, trust me. Yay! Giga Drain at last! I've been waiting for this move. It's a shame that you get it in the post game. You know what I mean? It Giga Drain! Bruh, th that should have been something that you get in Johto. But no, they make you wait to the post game to get that bitch. That is crazy. That is fucking crazy. But yeah, it, I think Giga Drain is 60 power, I think. Oh, wait a minute, I think they changed something with Giga Drain in the move thingy. Let me let me take a look real quick. Let me see. Giga Drain, Giga Drain. Ah, here it is. Giga Drain now has 75 power and 15 power points. Wow, that is awesome. So they made Giga Drain even stronger. So... Only, only seeds can um can use it though. Basic. Oh, our city has pollution too. It just doesn't look like it. <laughs> Whatever. In any case, we're done to settle down. So let's head on south to Fuchsia City then. In any case, all right, cycling road. Yeah. And viewers, it's all down here. It's all downhill from here. So let's go. Whee! Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. Watch. <laughs> Watch that, dude. But, yeah, it's just a scenic route down to the south and stuff like that. So, yeah, the problem with this is that you have no control over it. So, you can go up, but then you'll go right back down. So, time your, time your things wisely. Did they get rid of the sign? There was a sign here on Cycling Road that said, um, don't throw the game, throw Pokeballs instead. That was fucking hilarious. I guess that was only for Gen 1. Oh, well. In any case, we're done there, so let's continue on then. Bruh. The only rando trainer in the fucking road. Really? You're almost to your destination, but fight me first. Fuck off! Yeah, fuck you and fucking Octal! <laughs> fucking A. Some just can't wait to die. That being said, though, Fuchsia City! Yes! It's been a while. In the case, Fuchsia City, Koga, well, Koga used to be the gym leader here before he became an Elite Four member. One of the Elite Four used to be the leader of the Fuchsia's gym. Yeah, I, I just said that. Thanks. <laughs> In any case, I, I, I forget if they did this or not, but I wonder if they restored the Safari Zone. Let me see real quick. If they did, this, 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 this mod is getting a definite 10 out of 10 if they did. Let me see. What? Bruh. Bruh. I was going to give this mod a definite 10 out of 10 at the end if they included the Safari Zone, if they brought it back. Only for them not to bring it back. Bitch. Bitch. Now, it's a good, it's a good mod. So far. Don't get me wrong. But come on. No Safari Zone? <sighs> what the fuck was that? Oh, okay, oh, okay, never mind. I, I recognize that glitch. <laughs> yeah, that sometimes happens when I'm at the Pokemon. It is what it is. But yeah, no Safari Zone. Now, remember when I was going to do Pokemon Ultimate Crystal? Or Crystal Ultimate? Um, a few months ago? Yeah, I think that one had... I think they brought back the Safari Zone and that, and that ROM. 
and stuff like that. But apparently, not in Lunatic Crystal. Why? Why? <sighs> My grandpa is the Safari Zone Warden. At least he was. He decided to go on vacation and took off overseas by himself. He quit running the Safari Zone just like that. Just like that? Just like that? Wow. Delete... The least the old fucker could have did was leave it open and have somebody, I don't know, deputy, maybe, run the safari zone in his stead. And look, viewers, they got rid of all the Pokemon that used to be... Now, Fuchsia City... Now, Fuchsia City is kind of controversial, in my opinion. They have Pokemon in, like, areas like this, encaged with pools and shit, like they were zoo animals. Zoo animals! That's how people in Safari or people here in Fuchsia saw these Pokemon here, like zoo animals. They even had a Voltor behind a behind a cage. Yeah, I know it's dumb. Um, back in the day, I thought Voltor was a Pokeball. <laughs> no shit. But um, yeah, I know it's dumb. It's so dumb. It is so fucking dumb. Whatever. It is what it is. In the case, before we take out, before we go to the gym, let's go check over here. My grandpa is at Brother Bill's house, or Brother Bill's on Cerulean Kate. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. This is Bill's, um, Bill's relative's, um, house. Cool. I mean, he lives, his family lives in Goldenrod, but his, like, his siblings and, I guess, parents lives here in, um, you know, in Fuchsia. So, there you go. In the case, hmm. did they unblock it? Nope. Okay, never mind. Who knows how long it'll take to move this boulder? Damn. Sorry, this road is closed for construction. If you want to get to Cinnabar, you'll better go south from Palatown. Damn! I thought they would have removed that fucking cock blocking block and stuff like that, but apparently not. Oh well, before we end the episode, let's take on the future gym. I'm curious to see who the gym leader is. Ooh, take a good look around. All the trainers all look like the leader, Janine. Which one of them is the real Janine? Hmm. Will the real Janine please stand up? Please stand up? Please stand up? I'm so no, 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 no. Sorry. I fucking love that song. I who was the guy that made it? Eminem, I think? Yeah, I fucking love- I hear it on the radio all the fucking time. Please stand up. Please stand up. Yeah. Please stand up, bitch. <laughs> Alright, now, we gotta figure out which one of these is the real Janine. No! Yeah, figures. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. What? No, -uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> I gotta fuck with you a little bit. I mean, I am the gym leader, after all. I'm the real deal. Janine of Future Gym. That's me. Because it's time for a gym battle boss fight. Versus Janine, the new leader of the Fuchsia City Gym. Janine is also Koga's daughter. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. Like father, like daughter, to take over the gym. While her father is making millions as an Elite Four member. Yeah, yeah. You take care of the low-level job, um, daughter. While I go to the Elite Four and make millions and not bring anything home here to Fuchsia City. Yeah, I, I know your MO, Koga. Sagunis! Oh! Fuck yeah. You see, you gotta sell it a little bit. BITCH! <laughs> you see, the op, uh, the op always catch me to, like constantly talking and shit. Like, pay attention to the battle or your Pokemon will get KO'd. It's such a simple concept, isn't it? Fuck off! Thunderbolt! Fuck you. <laughs> Alright, who's next? Fucking A. Needle... Needle... Wow. Queen! Ah, oh, I miss Needle Queen. Oh! Motherfucker! Wow. The Queen is angry. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you something to be angry about, bitch. Sir! Oh, fuck you! How about this then? 
Ride it hard! Didn't you know, Queen? Dick riding is in. Dick riding is in. You didn't know that? Fucking A, where the fuck have you been? In the Stone Age. Now we got Umbreon. I think I mentioned this earlier in the game, but in the Japanese version of Pokemon, Umbreon's Japanese name is Blackie. I did, I did mention that, right? I did? Well, yeah, I mentioned it again. It's, its name was Blackie in the Japanese version of the game. So, um... <laughs> I know, I know, it, it's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. Okay, you can fuck off! But baby! King shot that hyper beam right, right up Umbreon's ass! Damn! I mean, it didn't work completely, but... He literally shot his hyper load inside that Umbreon's ass. Don't take that out of context, but holy shit! Can I? <laughs> Umbreon's all like, whew, I felt that, but it... When I, when I really take it, I need to have a cigarette afterwards, but... That was a cigarette-inducing penetration. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to cut it. You know what is going to cut it, though? This! Because you're still weak to bug moves, bitch. You yeah, see, so you can fuck off. Stop delaying the animal! Janine, you knew that was going to happen, right? You constantly spamming the fuck out of it is not going to work. Leftovers can only help you so much. Just ask my mischievous. <laughs> Leftovers can only do so much for such a short amount of time. Ow! Why are you a poison gym leader using an Umbreon and a fucking Rapidash? Why? Where's Venomoth? Where's Weezing? Arbok? And stuff. You got none of that? That is fucking ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. Let's see how you fare against the legendary, though. Your weak ass fire blast! Earthquake! Back in my hood, we call it Daimonji! Which it is. In Pokinese, also. So there you go. That's not just hood language, it's Pokinese. Pokinese. Daimonji! Tentacruel, fuck off. I'm so sick and tired of seeing this thing. Ow! You don't have to see me no more. Bruh. That's fine. Tentacruel has Ice Beam too. Wow, like it just can't get any worse than that, right? You switched it in just for it to get KO. That was noob! What? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? I was one earthquake away from winning this match. Wow. Wow. Q. <laughs> GG, bitch. Fuck. Four attempts. Four attempts. And that's only her getting lucky. Wow. Unbelievable, man. Renegades of Vibe, we got the Soul Badge! Badge number four and Joe. Oh, sorry, Kanto, get. You're so tough, I have a special gift. It's toxic, a powerful poison move that will steadily sap its victim's HP. Alright, thank you much. Up to the fucking um, northeast to get to um, Lavender Town. Either way, we're going to Lavender Town. And next time on Let's Play Pokemon Lunatic Crystal, we'll head to the most creepiest town in the entire series. Is it still creepy? Well, you'll find out next time. You guys enjoy, you know what to do? Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming videos from me. And of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell to notify my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do. Leave a comment, duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes, my rage break game, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smell you later.